Good morning and happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another elementary devotional. We are going to be in the Old Testament in the book of Ezekiel. As Christians, as Jesus followers, as Jesus kids, as Christ followers, it's important to understand and know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. You see, when we ask Jesus to come live inside of our heart, he sends the Holy Spirit with him to also live inside of our heart. The Holy Spirit comforts us, gives us peace, guides us, encourages us, and empowers us. In the Old Testament, God promised his people through the prophet Ezekiel that he would put his spirit within them. Let's look at Ezekiel this morning. I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it, declares the Lord. Ezekiel 37, 14. When Jesus talked to his disciples in the New Testament, the night before he died, he told them, I will ask my father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the advocate. And the advocate is, uh, is another word for helper, advisor, comforter. The Holy Spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. You can read this in John chapter 14 verses 16 and 17 and also verse 26. When you ask Jesus to be your savior, like we mentioned earlier, the Holy Spirit comes to live in your heart. His presence gives you everything you need to live a life that pleases God. He comforts you, guides you, will you listen to him? Today, I want you to find an old picture of you or an extra picture of you. Maybe you have a couple um, extra school photos lying around. Find a picture of you uh, that you're not holding on to and ask your parents permission to write on it. And once you have that picture of yourself, I want you to write across your shirt, across your chest where your heart is. I want you to write, the Holy Spirit lives in me. And then I want you to put that picture somewhere in your Bible, in your room, somewhere as a reminder that so that you know that the Holy Spirit lives in you. Let's bow our heads, let's close our eyes, and let's give the day to the Lord. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your word and this devotional time. Holy Spirit, thank you that you are living in us, that you guide us and that you help us and that you lead us. God, be with us today. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, great job. I will catch you at another devotional.